Mr. Elliot. Okay. If you are come to call upon the Admiral and Mrs. Croft, I must disappoint you. They went to take the waters with Captain Wentworth. But uh, since you are here, you may save me some time. Captain Wentworth bade me bring this note to you in Camden Place. Perhaps you would take it now. Thank you. You're quite well, Miss Elliot. Thank you. And if you'll excuse me, I'm already late for an appointment. this no longer. You pierce my soul. I am half agony, half hope. Unjust I may have been. Weak and resentful I have been, but never inconstant. I offer myself to you again with a heart even more your own than when you almost broke it eight years ago. I have loved none but you. You alone have brought me to Bath. For you alone I think and plan. Have you not seen this? I can hardly write. I must go uncertain of my fate. A word, a look will be enough. Only tell me that I am... Tell me not that I am too late. That such precious feelings are gone forever. Why, Miss Elliot? Just Miss Frederick. He has just gone to call upon you at Camden Place. <gasps> We shall have to get you home directly. The thing of it is, I ought to be in the marketplace now. The fellow there promised me the sight of a capital gun he's just sending off. Said he'd keep it unpacked to the last possible minute. If I do not cut along now, I, sh I shall miss out. You know, from his description, Wentworth, it sounds a good deal like that 16 bore Mortimer of mine you shot with that day round Winthrop. Do you remember? The London single long fowler with the walnut stock. <laughs> to accept it. Thank you. Are you? Quite certain. I am. I am determined. I will. And nothing, you may be sure, will ever sway me otherwise. 